Chapter 1, Getting Started. To create a Smart Table activity, the first thing we're going to do is to open up Smart Table Toolkit, and that's the green icon here with the little toolbox on it. I'm going to double click that. It's going to open up my blank home page. Along the left tab, you'll notice all of the applications that we have and that we can use to create activities for the Smart Table. Today I'm going to select my activities by clicking on the little box to the left of the title, Hot Spaces, Hot Spots, Media, Multiple Choice, Paint, Image Reveal, and Narrow It Down. You can choose only one application to use in your activity pack, or you can use all of them if you wish, or somewhere in between. Today I've chosen the ones that I'm going to show you how to create activities for. Okay, so this is our home screen in the middle here, and that's what the students are going to see when they plug in the activity pack to the smart table. It's also what they're going to see when they're moving between applications. So I'd like to customize this today, and I'm going to do that by creating a background in Notebook. The reason that I have to create it in Notebook is that we cannot customize or change anything about the backgrounds in Toolkit, but we can use Notebook to do that. So I'm going to minimize Toolkit, and I'm going to open up Notebook. And I'm going to set my background color. And I'm going to add a title. Today I'm going to do an activity on animals. So I'm going to call it animals. I'm going to clone my title and flip it upside down so that children on all sides of the table can see it. Remember the table is a 360 degree surface. And I'm going to add a couple of pictures of some animals, perhaps an elephant. And maybe a cat. And I can add as many or as little pictures as I'd like, whichever background I wish. But I am done for now. My next step is to save this notebook file. Animal example. I'm going to save it to my desktop, but you can save it wherever you wish. Now I'm going to export this file as an image. So I, to do that, I go File, Export, Image Files. And at the bottom left, you can see the size is 800 by 600. OK. I'm going to open up Toolkit again. And I'm going to browse for my background. In the middle on the top here, it says Background. And next to Background, there's a folder. And I click on that folder to access any files I'd wish from my computer. And I click on the file I'd wish and it opens up here and there is my home screen. My next step is to save it. So I'm going to press save as, save it where I'd wish. And I'm going to save it as animals. And that is how we customize our home page for our toolkit activities.